Hi everybody, my name is Edje and we're going to visit the craft days in Skansen, Sweden. Let's go! This is the upholstery workshop. Uh, this is uh, like 100, 120 years ago and this is how they made the stuffing during that period. This is from cotton, but this is horsehair. And under that we have the first stuffing. Uh, and it's also with horsehair. Uh, but you can also use, for example, uh, coconut fiber or you can use, this is from palm tree leaf. Um, and my very good hammer. <laughs> so this one. It has a magnetic thing on the one side. Hmm. So what are we doing today in here? Actually, it's called paste marbling, mm -hmm. and it's based on paste. You boil some starch and put some color in it, and then you uh, paint it on the paper and make some patterns in it with different uh, tools. Yeah. And it is uh, an old uh, uh, method of decorating paper. Thank you so much for the interview. <laughs> And in this workshop, 1870, every shoe was produced by hand. There was no machines in this workshop, so we work with hand tools only. Workbanks like this, there were often two shoemakers, the master shoemaker and the trainee. And at the short end of on the workbench was often the workplace for the son in the family. The first thing is the shoe last. This is the wood piece that goes into the shoe during the production. And these are last made in the 1800s. And this is a straight last, it's not left and right. The next step is to make an insole. And it's made from heavy, thick cowhide. Then we cut the soft leather that is going to become the upper. And then we have to shape it with the rasp, the knife and the rasp and sandpaper until it gets soft and smooth and nice looking and then we can dye it and polish. <laughs> 